In their first public briefing since July, members of the White House Coronavirus Task Force painted a grim picture. This is more cases more rapidly than what we had seen before. Since the last task force briefing, another 120,000 Americans have died. This internal White House document shows the areas with the highest rate of cases and warns of aggressive, unrelenting community spread across the entire country. I believe the day is coming soon when we will put this coronavirus in the past. The surge in cases is so rapid, the Centers for Disease Control is warning Americans not to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday, typically the busiest travel time of the year. When you have so much virus circulating in the community, everybody needs to do their part to stay home unless it's absolutely necessary, it's necessary to go out. In Idaho, doctors warn they'll soon face tough choices about who they can treat as they face a dire shortage of hospital beds. We may be facing that scenario uh, in December. The Mayo Clinic reports 900 of its staff have contracted the virus in the past two weeks. The situation risks spiraling out of control in multiple states. Open! But not everyone is on board with public health measures. All they're trying to do is control you. Everything you do is based on the mask and the disease, and it's wrong. In South Dakota, where the positivity rate is one of the highest in the world, the governor refuses to implement a mask mandate. I don't want to approach a policy or a mandate just looking to make people feel good. Experts say that lack of a unified national response is what makes the prolonged silence from the White House so dangerous. At a time when the U.S. needs leadership the most, it's been hard to find. Donna? Okay, Jackson Prosco in Washington, thanks.